Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library and welcome to today's video. As you can see, it is my January bullet journal setup. Definitely, I do not have a candle to light for the beginning of this session though. I am continuing in the same bullet journal that I was using in the previous year as because I only started in August. I still have plenty of pages left. I do have my master list at the very beginning. But the theme that I chose for January this year is kind of a stars astrology theme and I wanted to do something bright, something that kind of made me think of New Year's but wasn't too on the nose. I, I really liked how the stars turned out. I kind of found out pretty early on that I needed to color the stars before I outlined them, otherwise it was going to turn my marker yellow. And I do add in a couple planets here and there just to make it more interesting. However, when I started adding in this blue, I wasn't super happy with how it turned out. I didn't have a dark enough blue color, and I didn't want to color in the whole page, but I didn't want it to be so blank. I do this in the first spread or two as well, and I just wasn't super happy with how it turned out. But I did decide to move my calendar back to the beginning of the spread. I had done this in an earlier month and then I decided to change it up and see if I liked it more in the middle better. But I do really like it being the first thing because I reference this calendar for so many things, for readathons, for videos, for events. So just having it being easy to find at the very front of the spread I think is the best way to go. Again, here I do the same stars, just kind of in a random pattern, but I did end up adding in the blue in between the stars again, and at first I used the wrong color. I do go back and fix it later on, but both with the wrong color and fixed, I just, I didn't like how it turned out, much like the beginning page. I just thought it looked a little tacky, and so... Then I moved on to my TBR page. Here I have some constellations that I chose. I used the Taurus constellation a couple of times because that is my astrology sign. I also had like the Big Dipper, Orion's Belt, and just a couple other patterns in the sky that I thought looked nice. And so I'll add in my TBR for each um, astrology sign. I decided, again, like I've been saying, not to do the color, and then that does leave me more space for any more books that I want to add on to the TBR. However, I didn't want the spread to just be yellow stars on white pages, so I decided to make the headlines have a background of the blue just to give it a little bit more color. Next to my TBR, I have my books read spread. I always put these side by side so I can see what I wanted to read and what I ended up reading. If I stuck to my TBR, if I read more or less books than I had hoped. But for this one, I decided to go with planets and just make it a little bit more colorful. I'm still debating on outlining them in a black marker just to make the shapes a little more apparent, but I'm just glad that it's somewhat colorful. My next spread is the rankings spread and I enjoy doing this at the end of the month. I like how this turned out. I thought it was really fun to have the different size stars and have the big ones be right next to where I'm going to write my top three favorites and my least favorite there at the bottom. But it was quite tedious to outline all of these yellow stars with the black marker. Next, I move on to the books I plan on purchasing this month and brainstorming for the next couple of months. This is a new spread that I added 
last month in December as uh, having a $20 per month limit is something quite new for me. Um, so I decided that I want to have a spread so that I can keep track of how many new release books and how many backlist books I want to buy and um, if I end up only buying one book for less than $20, then I can use the money that I saved next month to maybe buy a collector's edition of a book or maybe just a new release in hardcover just in case it ends up going over $20 for whatever reason. So I am just kind of brainstorming this month and the next couple of months and I do post on Instagram, so make sure you follow me. My Instagram is down below, and I ask whether I should buy one new release or multiple backlisted books off of thrift books. So if you want to participate in that, make sure you are following me on all of my social medias. Next, I have all of my social media content planning, and these spreads look very similar month to month because I like having them very structured. And I decided to go a little bit more minimalistic with the stars on this one, mostly because of how structured it is, how many boxes I have, but also they just didn't leave a lot of space and I didn't want to crowd it. So first I have my YouTube planning and even this looks a little different than how I had in the past and I think I'm going to like it. So I can plan my January videos and the first few of my February videos but then I give more space for brainstorming um, so things aren't set, as st set in stone as quickly and I can kind of adjust to what videos I come up with in the month rather than planning two months of videos in advance. Same thing with Instagram, I post three posts per week on average, or at least I am trying to. So here I am just keeping track of what kind of posts I am doing so that I can have a variety and I am posting uh, good quality content as well. Again, I kept the stars pretty minimalistic, brought back a planet, and I thought that was quite fun. And then same thing with TikTok as well. I am on TikTok and I am attempting to post. And this one I did do a few more stars. I thought it went with the flow of TikTok a little bit better. And my last section of my bullet journal is always my reviews. So here is where I write the title, the author, how many stars I rated it, and now I'm also writing down the publisher just so that I can keep track and keep it a little more organized. And I give myself some space to write my thoughts. I only wrote or did the little boxes for the first couple of pages because I didn't want to waste pages for books that I end up not reading. Um, I just left it kind of open-ended for however many. So here's the flip through. I think, like I said, I definitely like the middle spreads rather than the earlier ones or the kind of plainer later ones, um, but hopefully I will have February's a little bit better planned out. And I know that there is a special spread that I will be wanting to add into my bullet journal every month and that uh, I will start it in February. Thank you all so much for watching this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe as i am posting videos twice a week on sundays and wednesdays i always post bullet journals at the beginning of the month 
and I will always have a wrap up at the end of the month. But if you like this video, like I said, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you keep a bullet journal, what kinds of spreads you like to include. I did miss not blowing out the candle at the end of this one, but I, at my parents' house, I just didn't quite have a scented candle, but it was okay. So make sure you subscribe, like, and again, check out my social media down below. But until the next video, I wish you all a happy reading.